Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And we also open up a lot of posts. I mean, there is so much in our mail day episode today. So, you know, buckle up, get ready. I'm opening Magic the Gathering novels. I'm opening surprise posts and I'm opening also some foreign black bordered goodies because I'm still on the chase to collect the Renaissance sets in all three languages. Anyway, you know what? Let's just start with those actually. Um, so this is a book, magic book related, of course. This is surprise mail from the States and this is some more surprise mail from the States. So I'm gonna wait with those last. I'm gonna start with, uh, with some posts, some cards I ordered, mainly uh, to add to my uh, Renaissance collection. I just love, look at the packing. You gotta love the packing like this. You can kind of see what country they're from. Uh, let's see, can we rip it open? I'm in a pretty good mood today. I'm really looking forward to just open up all these packs. It's just a big part of the, of the fun of magic. I find it's just collecting new sets. Let's see, so Milano. So I guess this is Italian. So we can expect some uh, foreign black bordered Italian from the Rani Cimento set. Look at this beauty. Iron Claw Orcs. Feldens Cane, all Italian. Ooh, uh, Ertz's Power Plant. I just really like the colors. Uh, Jalem Tome, another Jalem Tome. Oh yeah, this one I may want to play in my uh, Foreign Black Bordered White Weenie deck that I still need to play on the channel, by the way. It's coming really nice. A Tetravus, Volare, whoa. Tetravus, really good, useful creature. And a Twiddle. I think this this one's German, actually. Look at that. A German twiddle. Of course, why not? So this will all be part of my uh, my foreign black-bordered set collecting project. And I think this one has more uh, foreign black-bordered cards. Let's open it up. Look at the packing. I love it, guys. Recycling all the way. That's good. There we go. There we go. Hopefully I don't rip the cards in the process. Wow, look, ooh, Pokemon, yeah. I actually, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give these to the kids in my class. I am a, uh, a grade four teacher at the moment and uh, some, some of them collect the Pokemon cards. I actually played some Pokemon uh, with them because they wanted to, they know I love card games. They, uh, yeah, they beat me pretty bad. There was a lot of shiny stuff. But uh, I'll just have to wait until they're ready to play some magic. Anyway, um, let's focus on the cards. Switch it around. Oh, Scenic Poltergeist. Sweet. This guy is so cool. Like, it can kill Moxen. It's, it's quite nice. And I, I love the art. Like, the guy under the table. Like, what? What's going on? And all the objects coming alive. Very unique card. And it's hard for, for Black to deal with artifacts. But cards like this kind of give you a way to do it, I guess. Um, oh, we've got Urza's Mind, so we can put that with the power plant. We've got, oh, a Triskelion. This card actually is pretty expensive, I believe. So a trike. Like, is it is it like five euros or something? Talking about expensive, look at this, the Urnum Gin. Urnum, I mean, it's, I mean, it's pretty damaged. I'm just, I mean, I'm just getting the budget versions of the cards. Um, like the condition, I mean, because they just purely collect them to complete the set. Um, uh, Transmute, Ashnaut's Transmogrant, I think, right? Um, pretty cool card. And then we have Taunus's Weaponry as well, kind of like the first equip card. So, yeah, we get some more new cards for the project. Let me put some of them here. A little bit, you know beat up, but I don't care. I just want to complete, let me know if you have that same tendency where you just want to complete these little sets and projects. Just love having, you know, little side projects to keep me busy. Anyway, um, now we're gonna go to another part of this video where I'm gonna open this. This has quite an interesting thing. It's a, it's a Magic the Gathering novel that I'm, a, that I'm collecting. It's part of a, tr a trilogy. Let me first open it and then I can show you. 
Okay, so let's go. Let's open it up. Um, it's actually quite hard to find these books in uh, the Netherlands. You know, I'm here in Amsterdam. If you know a place in the Netherlands that has these, by the way, please let me know in the comments because it's much easier to get them, uh, if, if it's possible, of course, to get them here than uh, to order them all the way from, um, uh, from the States. This one comes from the States. So this is the Shattered Alliance, the Ice Age Cycle, book number three. I also have... The Gathering Dark, uh, book number one. So I'm missing book number two. That's the one I'm still missing. So if you know where I can get book number two, uh, please let me know. I'm just opening up the uh, a web page here that says the title of it. So you've got the Eternal Ice. So I'm looking for the Eternal Ice, people. I got these two. Really happy. Jeff Grubb. I think I know this one. I read this one. A great story. So I'm really looking forward to read the rest. But, you know, I need number two. So I've got number one. I got book three. I just need book two. That being said, let's continue with our lives and open up some more magic mail because that's the best thing there is. Uh, I'm going to open up this, uh, this beauty. And this is sent to me by, let me do a little peek. I don't want to show his address to the internet. To Stephen, uh, sent to me by Stephen. Uh, let's see, can we open it from here? I'm trying not to use the scissors. Let's go and be quite successful today in opening the post, by the way. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, of course. Oh, that's a cool Tim. That is sweet. Let's see if there's something in the card signed first. Nice. Look at that drawing. Earthworm Jim. Jim. Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Sweet. An artist. I love it, man. Ooh, we get some stickers. The Ebon Hand. Oh, this is so going on, uh, on my deck box. Cincinnati Old School, the Ebon Hand. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. I just love these stickers. And then there is... A Tim, wow, that is insane. Uh, let's see, how can I open this? That's from the bottom. I would, oh, it's one of those. It's one of these, right? We have that inner sleeve thingy. I don't know what to call it, but life's complicated. Taking it out, wow. How do you call it again? Like they've got a lot of these, like the, the full frame or something. Standing there in his robe with the Ebon Hand stamp on it. Thank you so much, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Another one for in my Timmy collection. I'm going to play it in some decks. It's going to pop up in the channel. I love it. going to put it right here. And these stickers, man, they're awesome. They are awesome. They're going to find their way on my deck box. Super cool. Um, only one letter left. So much stuff today. It's like my birthday or something. Christmas came early. Um, we have this. I do not know what's in here. I have no idea. It's a post from the States. I'm hoping that there is some letter in here or an explanation what it is. Maybe it's not even magic related. I can't imagine, but who knows. Let's see if I can open it here. Ooh, there's a card in there. This is a Tim. Oh, I remember this. Yes, yes. That is so cool. Let's open this. And let me just check the contents. Very cool. So we've got this Star Trek Timmy, which is so cool. Look at that. Isn't this just hilarious? It's, just, it's the funniest, right? I mean, I love it. Very, very cool. So let me just put it here. Nice. I mean, the Timmy collection is growing and growing and growing. I mean, I just want to make a deck with all these very cool altars that, that are just from all these cool creative people, man. There's so much talent and just just funny people in old school. I love it. I just love, 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 love the community. Um, okay, we've got this card. Wow, look at this one. 
is this maybe, I wonder, because it looks like a fourth edition, Tim, but maybe, I'm gonna check the back. Yes, that's what I thought. This is an um, alternate fourth edition print, and you can see that by looking at the A. So I'm just gonna get the revised version, doesn't matter much, but here, look at the A. Here you see there's a light dot on the A. Here you see there's no light dot on the A. That is how you can spot alternate fourth edition. So if you've got a lot of fourth edition, check the back and see if this A is filled up here in the right top corner. Then you have an alternate fourth edition. This is really cool, man. Thank you so much. I actually own only one alternate fourth edition, so it's great to own another. And I can kind of collect a play set. Really looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Um, and just thanks to everybody here uh, who's sending me stuff from all over the globe. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm also super happy with the Shattered Alliance novel. I'm really looking forward to start uh, reading that. Obviously still need book number two though, but I'm just gonna go on the hunt for that, I guess. Um, and yeah, I mean, look at these two Timmies, man. That is so, so sweet. Um, thank you guys for watching another episode. I guess uh, I've been uh, rambling on long enough. And uh, let me know in the comments below what is your current chase card or what set are you collecting. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ich bin der Sumba-Kazi.